Okay, I'm now going to show you a different way to make your protein powder. I can promise you it's really tasty. Okay, of course you're gonna need protein. Let's get my protein. What I'm using is a natural whey protein isolate. It doesn't have any flavors, no additives, nothing. It's just pure uh, isolate protein. We're gonna get like a handful of blueberries. That's it. Okay, handful of blueberries. We're gonna get a couple of strawberries. And here I have a leftover banana. Okay, what we need to do is wash the fruits first. We're gonna use yogurt. And the one that I'm gonna use for this recipe is the Icelandic, what is that? Scar Icelandic yogurt. It's very high in protein and it's quite thick. And for what I'm planning to do, I need it to be a little bit thicker. The next thing that we're gonna add is some chia seeds. We're gonna need also dates. We're gonna need maple syrup and some porridge oats. Okay. For those ones caring about the grams. I'm gonna leave here for decoration. So that is about 45 grams of blueberries. We're gonna use one of the strawberries. The other one is gonna be for decoration. So 45 and 20 grams of strawberry, 65 grams of fruit. We're gonna use just a little bit of banana just to get it a little bit sweeter. So another about 20 grams of banana. And that can wait. We're gonna add half a date. We don't need a lot, just a little bit for more sweetness. We don't wanna make it too sweet. We're gonna add 10 grams of porridge oats, not too much. That's it. We're gonna add 10 grams of chia seeds. And now we're gonna add the 200 grams of yogurt. Okay, it got a bit messy, but it doesn't matter. And of course, we need our scoop of protein. So we're gonna get a nice big scoop. Here it is. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna add just a little bit of the maple syrup, just about five grams. And now we're ready to blend. And now we need a bowl where we're gonna pour what we have. So I'm gonna use this one. Whoop. We're getting a bit dangerous here. All right, we're gonna pour our content into the bowl making sure we're not wasting anything. I'm gonna grab a spoon. Oh, where is our spoon? We've already used one. That's it. Okay, and now I'm at my favorite place in the house, that's the kitchen table, and I'm about to have the creation that I did. So, as in everything in life, it's good to change up things, especially with foods. You cannot have the same foods over and over again. 
what I did here, instead of having my protein just in a shake, I did it more like a breakfast kind of thing, where you can have it with a spoon. The exact nutrition facts, as always, I'm gonna put it down in the description box below. And if you've seen the video, you know how to make it. Let me know down in the comments if you like it or not. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Let's see what it's like. Mm, mix it up well. Good, nice and creamy and... Oh. Let's have some fruits in here. All right, let's see what is it like. Mm. It is amazing. Delicious.